Welcome to this amazing day uh, where we get to celebrate what God is doing in these two couple, this couple, these two people. Love manifested in the form of a covenant marriage. Started all the conversation about how we would do this. I asked Emma and Daniel to share a little bit with me about what they loved about one another. So I wanted to share that here today. Um, I'll start with uh, you, Emma. Daniel said, it's obvious that you are a young woman truly called by God. Um, he said that it's your laugh and just thinking about your warm smile makes him smile. Uh, that she, you believe in him and you push him to be the man God created him to be. That you encourage him to be his best every day. And this one I wanted to share word for word because you put it really well, Daniel. You said how beautiful she is. Obviously, she is outwardly stunning. I can't put enough emphasis on this over text. <laughs> that was great. Inwardly, she's compassionate, driven, patient, kind. I could go on and on, but you get the picture. She's the complete package. And if I haven't met you yet, yet, I am Emma's favorite and only sister. And I've gotten the honor of being Emma's maid of honor. And I couldn't be more excited to be with y'all here today to celebrate Emma and Dan. I followed Emma's lead all this time because I've looked up to her my whole life. And how blessed am I to have a sister who's so gracious, kind, and fashionable to follow. Alabama worked out pretty well for Emma though because that's where she met Daniel. I'm so thankful to have gotten a front row seat to see how their relationship has grown over the past years. Seeing them both pursue God first has made their relationship strong, encouraging, and full of joy. They are both forces for the kingdom of God individually and I can't wait to see how the Lord will use their relationship to move mountains. We know it to be true but Emma's the friend that you meet in a moment and feel like she's been there literally your entire life. Football games, swaps, late night sonic ice cream runs, followed by scream singing in the car down university, thinking we were James Corden and carpool karaoke. Um, Y'all know the drill. But thinking through it all, some of the best moments we've really had were our freshman year. Um, and in thinking of doing all that life together, one specific memory um, comes to mind through the ups and downs. Um, freshman year, but who walks in? None other than Daniel Allen. <laughs> um, to say he's awesome would be an understatement. The mom of the group found her guy and we couldn't be happier, especially now that it's almost officially official. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it better than that? Ooh, so pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm praying for Daniel Wright for 16 years. Christmas, they, you know, sororities have lots of parties, right? So they have a Christmas party. I've never seen Daniel. Been praying for him for 16 years. Elementary, junior high, high school, college. And then all of a sudden, Emma sends me a picture. She's dressed up in this beautiful outfit, which she probably borrowed from one of her girlfriends. Girls borrow stuff, that's the weirdest thing. But she had this beautiful outfit, and then there's Daniel. And I'm looking at Daniel, because I'd heard he's kind of cute. I'm thinking, well, he is cute. He is a cute guy. And then all of a sudden, I need a roll tide. One, two, three. Roll tide! All of a sudden, I look down, and I see he's dressed as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So, I'm thinking, well, God, this is a... This is either a crazy coincidence or you're telling me this is the one. Ready? Ready. All right, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Can I open my eyes? Yeah, open my eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bug. So beautiful. You like it? I do. The dress so is beautiful. Good. Ah, I don't know if we can kiss. 
Oh, you're breaking that. <laughs> Sorry. You look so good. Love is so powerful at times that it brings us to want to say, I want to spend every day with the rest of my life trying to figure it all out with you. And that's the kind of love that Dan and Emma have. A love that is no ordinary, common puppy love. <laughs> it's not a love that is one that is, uh, as we sometimes describe it, I'm just, we're just dating kind of love. But it's more like a nuclear explosion of the heart kind of love, where it, as God describes it, two separate individuals come together and become one. Where, if you will, one plus one equals one. That's the kind of love that, that they have, that they've come to, to develop with themselves. There is nothing else like it. There's nothing else that compares to it. Tonight we're celebrating that with Dan and Emma. It's the kind of club of love that completely changes the trajectory of your life. It's the kind of love that makes you look forward to every day in your future. It's the kind of love that calms you. It's the kind of love that excites you. It's the kind of love that completely unites you to your spouse. And as God has said, it's the kind of love where two become one. Um, when I asked her to share some of the things she loved about you, she said how you treat people and you make people feel seen and known beyond just the surface level. Um, and she said specifically, he isn't afraid to make himself uncomfortable to make someone else feel included. That's amazing, man. She said, I love Daniel's discipline. He thrives off a routine and rarely takes a shortcut or the easy way out. Um, he, she loved your sense of humor, no matter the circumstances. She said, he can always make me laugh, and I don't think that will ever change. I will be checking back with you if you to see if that um, And that you love Alabama football, and that she knows she's always going to have somebody to go with her to game day. So that's awesome. Roll tied to that. Uh, so it's obvious that you two are such a blessing to each other. And, well, Daniel, will you accept Emma as a gift from God to help you become more like Jesus Christ? Will you accept her strengths and weaknesses, recognizing that she's made in the image of God? Will you love her because she, you have chosen to love her and because Christ first loved you? If you will, say, I will. I will. Also, and then repeat these vows after me. I, Daniel, take you, Emma. I, Daniel, take you, Emma. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. For sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. And Emma, will you accept Daniel as a gift from God to help you become more like Jesus Christ? Will you accept his strengths and weaknesses, recognizing that he's made in the image of God? Will you love him because you've chosen to love him and because Christ first loves you? If you will say I will. Yes. <laughs> you beat me to <laughs> Repeat these vows after me. I, uh, I, Emma, take you, Daniel. I, Emma, take you, Daniel. To be my husband. To be my husband. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Have the rings. And these rings are not cheap or common, and they signify something really special. That just like the rings are made of precious metal, what you guys are doing is an amazing, precious sacrament before the Lord. Um, they're a visible symbol to the world that you yourself have made a commitment to God and to your spouse. And they're circular, symbolizing the never-ending commitment that you're making here today. All right, Daniel, I want you to start. Take your ring, 
put it on Emma's third finger of her left hand. It says, Emma with this ring. Emma with this ring. As a symbol of my covenant. As a symbol of my covenant. I take you to be my wife. I take you to be my wife. Let this ring serve as a reminder. Let this ring serve as a reminder. Of all the things I vow to you this day. Of all the things I vow to you this day. Every time you see this ring. Every time you see this ring. Remember how much I love you. Remember how much I love you. And every time I see this ring. And every time I see this ring. I'll thank God I'm yours. I'll thank God that I'm yours. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. All right, Emma, I want you to take your ring and put it on Daniel's third finger of his left hand. Say, so Daniel, with this ring is a symbol of my covenant. Daniel, with this ring is a symbol of my covenant. I take you as my husband. I take you as my husband. This ring will serve as a reminder. This ring will serve as a reminder. Of all the things I vowed to you this day. Of all the things I vowed to you this day. Every time you see this ring. Every time you see this ring. Remember how much I love you. Remember how much I love you. Every time I see this ring. Every time I see this ring. I'll thank God I'm yours. I'll thank God I'm yours. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Daniel and Emma, may you live together in forgiveness and in his love, not insisting, insisting upon your own rights, but, uh, but by seeking one another. May you not seek to blame or fault as living in forgiveness every day um, and from your hearts um, seeking to serve one another. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want doesn't, what it doesn't have. It takes pleasure in the flowering of truth. It puts up with anything and trusts always in God. So, I pronounce you husband and wife. Daniel, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>